Hey, how's it going? It's your boy Chiefs Race Bolts, your favorite Kansas City Chiefs YouTuber on all of YouTube here. Baby, cock the Glock and then I let it spray. The Chiefs in week nine play the Carolina Panthers, and it's the last game before they go into their yearly bye week. So let's get into this. The Carolina Panthers receive the ball to start the game. They have a 15-play drive, eat up nine minutes of clock to start the freaking game. And uh, on fourth and three, Teddy Bridgewater would throw a short touchdown pass to Christian McCaffrey. Um, pff, simply put, one of the best running backs in the league, arguably the best. Nine yards on fourth and three. Panthers already getting aggressive here. 7-0 Panthers to start the game. The Chiefs get the ball for the first time in the, in the game. <laughs> nine minutes have already gone by. 12 plays they run. And all it would turn into is a 39-yard Harrison Bucker field goal. So 7-3 Panthers. The Panthers get the ball back. They run nine plays, including a fake punt. Yeah, they pull off a fake punt. The Chiefs, uh, dude, I'm surprised the Chiefs don't expect this type of stuff because the Panthers are doing literally what every team who plays the Chiefs should be doing. Getting aggressive, pulling out a bag of tricks. This is, the Panthers did this perfectly. The Panthers executed this perfectly. The first drive, they go for it on fourth down and they get a touchdown out of it. The second drive, here they are, fourth and seven. They run a fake punt. It's just stuff that you have to do against the Chiefs, especially if you have a much worse record than them, which at this point, yeah, three and five, that's a losing record for the Panthers. So not surprising at all that they're getting aggressive. I'm surprised more teams haven't gotten aggressive against the Chiefs, but the Panthers here, they're doing it in this game. So they convert that fourth down and it would turn it into a touchdown on the same drive for the Panthers. 14-3 Carolina. And just right out the bat, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Yeah, so second quarter here, the Chiefs get the ball. One minute, 38 second drive, six plays, including a 32 yard uh, deep pass from Patrick Mahomes to McCole Harmon. Great play there. But all the Chiefs get out of it is a 55 yard Harrison Bucker field goal. By the way, what is it with Bucker being able to kick these really long field goals, but not being able to make extra points? I don't understand it. So yeah, there you go. Chiefs in the second quarter have yet to score a touchdown. 14-6 Panthers lead. The Panthers would run four plays on the next drive and they would actually punt it this time. No points scored. The Chiefs get the ball back. First play of the drive. Patrick Mahomes deep pass. 23 yards to Travis Kelsey. More throws, more throws, more throws. Oh wait, and here we go. Patrick Mahomes short pass to Demarcus Robinson. One yard touchdown. Finally, we get a touchdown. Harrison Bucker makes the extra point. 14-13. Panthers. Panthers get the ball back. Nine plays, three-minute drive, and they get a 47-yard field goal from Sly. 17-13 Carolina. The Chiefs get the ball with 46 seconds left in the half, so they have 46 seconds to drive. They run seven plays, and on that seventh play, Mahomes throws a deep pass to Robinson, 28 yards. Could have gotten a field goal here, but guess what happens? Robinson fumbles the ball, and that's the end of the half. The Chiefs get no more points. So third quarter begins. The Chiefs start off with the ball. Eight play drive, four minutes. In the process, Patrick Mahomes has a 29-yard pass to Travis Kelsey, of course. There's a big play there. And then the Chiefs would line up for a 48-yard field goal for Harrison Bucker, and he missed it. But thankfully, the next drive, the Panthers would run eight plays, four minutes. Pretty much the exact same thing. Identical. I didn't even realize this. Holy shit. Pretty much identical drives. Chiefs run eight plays, four minutes, missed field goal. The Panthers get the ball back. Eight plays, four minutes, one second to be technical. So one second difference. So eight plays, four minutes, a missed field goal. Wow, that's crazy. They were identical drives almost. So then the Chiefs get the ball back. It's a two-minute drive, five plays, including a 44-yard pass from Mahomes to Kelsey. Oh, again. And then this time there would be a Patrick Mahomes short pass to Clyde edwards Lair for four yards. It's a touchdown. Extra point is good. The Chiefs have a lead. The Chiefs finally have a lead in the game. It's 2017 in the third quarter. The Panthers get the ball back. They run six plays, three minutes and 29 seconds. On this drive, they combined for one yard. How are you going to run? Six plays throughout a course of three minutes and 23 seconds, only gain one yard. Anyways, they punt the ball. Chiefs get the ball back. Six plays, minute and 56 second drive, including a 26-yard pass from Mahomes to Tyreek Hill and a Patrick Mahomes 28-yard deep pass to Tyreek Hill for a touchdown. And Harrison Bucker misses the extra point. What the hell, dude? How are you going to make a 55-yard field goal this same game but miss a 20-yard, 25-yard, whatever amount of yards at his extra point? In the same game. How you do it? Anyways, 26-17 Chiefs. Fourth quarter begins. Panthers have the ball. Nine plays, 
four minute drive, including a 28 yard pass from Bridgewater to Samuel, a 24 yard pass from Bridgewater to McCaffrey, and a Teddy Bridgewater rush up the middle four yards for a touchdown. Extra point is good. 26 24. It's only a two point game. The Chiefs get the ball back. Seven play. Two and a half minute drive results in a Patrick Mahomes short right pass, two yard Tyree kill touchdown. 33 24. Bucker did make the extra point. The Panthers get the ball back. And my God, they're just, they're a relentless team. 11 play drive, six minutes almost. They just, they clog up that clock so much 22 yard pass from bridgewater to anderson in the making and then you have a christian mccaffrey up the middle one yard touchdown in the end of it extra point is good the chiefs have a two-point lead over the panthers 33 31 the chiefs get the ball back they go three and out they go three and out and it's just it's panic mode because the panthers get a minute and a half to take the lead they get a minute and a half to go downfield and take the lead it's an a play drive okay Bridgewater hits a deep pass to Samuel, 23 yards, and with two seconds left, the Panthers are at the 50-yard line. So what are you going to do? You're going to throw a Hail Mary? You're going to do some lateral plays? No! They set up Joey Sly to attempt the longest field goal in NFL history at 67 yards, and I'm sitting there watching it like, really? Really? I knew right there the Chiefs were going to win, because I don't care who you are, who makes a 67-yard field goal? It's never been done before, so why is it going to happen here? So when they lined up for a 67-yard field goal, I thought they were going to run a fake, honestly, but they didn't. They actually attempted it, and it wasn't even close. So I knew when they kicked it that, boom, Chiefs win. So that game was a lot closer than it needed to be or should have been on paper. However, the Panthers did exactly what every single team who plays the Chiefs should be doing. Getting aggressive, Bridgewater all day, sitting back, throwing deep passes, deep passes. So the Chiefs defense got absolutely lit up today. The Chiefs defense looked like garbage. I'll read you the stat line. Teddy Bridgewater went off, actually, 36 for 49, 310 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Teddy Bridgewater, my man, went off this game. Patrick Holmes goes 30 for 45, 372 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions. So although my man Teddy Bridgewater did go off, I'm afraid Patrick Mahomes went off even more. Sheesh. Tyreek Hill had two touchdowns this game for 113 yards total. So the offense played awesome as usual. The defense not so much, uh, but no look. Props to the freaking Carolina Panthers. You're the first team this season that has been playing the Chiefs aggressively and not just for periods of time, but for the duration of the game. And that's what it takes to beat the Chiefs. I said the Panthers are the first team to do it. Actually, the Raiders were the first team. Panthers are only the second team, but Panthers, nice work. Like you put up a fight. I got worried on your last drive there up until you lined up for a 67 yard field goal anyways man the chiefs go to eight and one on the season and this would be the final game before the bye week so with that being said baby go chiefs i will see you in the next one peace out